Welcome, my friends, to Daily Moments of Inspiration. You know, I've been inspired mightily as I consider the Church of the Living God and who we are in Christ Jesus. You know, this is the most wonderful thing if we were to put our thoughts upon this and meditate upon this about what God has done for His people. You know, it's a beautiful portrait. Think about a picture. You think about a portrait or a picture which you make and you hang upon the wall and it's a portrait of your family or a portrait of a person and it's always so beautiful as it's framed in a beautiful framework and you know when we think about this we think about that God also has made a portrait and this portrait is a portrait of his people, his bride, the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a glorious portrait of God's chosen people. It is an everlasting portrait. God has an everlasting portrait of His chosen people because you are a people chosen of God. Think about this now. As David of old spoke, then he says, As for me, David said, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. And as I think about this, he said, when I awake, you know, we were once dead in trespasses and we were dead in sins. But now in Christ Jesus, we are alive from the dead because we were dead, but now he has resurrected us unto a new life. And David says, when I awake, I shall be satisfied with thy likeness. And I think about this. Not only are we now alive from the dead and alive forevermore, but also the body itself, the body itself will come forth in a glorious resurrection and in a glorious change. And when it does, it will be in his likeness, as David said. And then also in Romans, the Bible says this. It says that, if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. You know that when Jesus Christ died upon the cross, this old man, which was dead in trespasses and sins, remember that when Jesus took our sins upon him, when he died upon the cross, and it says his is we are buried with him by baptism unto death, and that it, like Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. And so we think about this, being in the likeness of his resurrection. Think about this just for a moment. Jesus Christ... And then he died, but the third day he arose from the dead. And it was a glorious body, without spot, without blemish, a holy, a beautiful, glorified body. And friends, when the dead come forth in Christ, they come forth in a beautiful, glorified body in the likeness of Jesus Christ. And then look what Peter has to say. He says, you, friends, you are a chosen generation. He says, you are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. And so remember this, friends. You, as Peter the, the apostle said, you are a chosen generation. You're a special people. It says you are a royal priesthood. And it says you're a holy nation. And you're a peculiar people. Oh my, we're different, friends, because we are the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are the people of God. And Peter went on further to say this, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. We are called to glory. 
We are called to virtue. And he has given us every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down with from the Father of lights. And he's given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, but by, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. And so how is it? that we are a glorified body. We are partakers of the divine nature of God. We're partakers of the divine nature of Jesus Christ. The, we have His nature on the inside and we'll be in it. This, even this outward body will be changed in the likeness of His glorious body. And so it's a wonderful thing for we have escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. I want to leave you with this thought. I want to think just for a moment now about Adam. When man was created and placed in the Garden of Eden, how beautiful it was. The Bible says that he was made in the image of God. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. But it was in the image of God. But you know, Adam, mankind fell from that image when they hearkened to the voice of the serpent. When they listened to the voice of Satan, then they fell from that glorious image. But friends, God has not forsaken His people. God had even a better plan because by a meeting a new generation, we are now not the generation of Adam. We are now the generation, the new generation of the sons of God, Jesus Christ. We are the new generation. We are a new creation. Not that old creation, but we are a new creation created unto Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. And by being born again, by being born of the Spirit of God, we are now a chosen people. We are now a glorified people. You know, on the inside, on the inside of us, there was a birth. On the inside, we entered into the kingdom of God when we were born again. And so this spirit on the inside was in the perfect image of Jesus Christ. But friends, this outward body also, God had a plan for the outward body. And just as the outward body of Jesus Christ was glorified, just like the inward spirit was translated into the kingdom, and so this outward body is glorified in a glorious resurrection. But friends, the Bible says in a moment, the twinkling of an eye, God will change those which are alive and those which are alive and remain under the coming of the Lord will change into this glorious body just like Jesus was when he was up on the mount and Peter, James, and John saw him on the mount with Moses and Elijah and he appeared with him in glory and his garments and his whole body shined and his garments and his whole body was glorified. It was a glorious thing. Oh, friends, praise be unto God. Listen to what Paul, what John has to say to find, to finalize this and to bring it all into this beautiful portrait of the children of God. It says, now, John said, are we the sons of God? And it does not yet appear what we shall be. Says, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Oh, praise God. The beautiful bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. The beautiful body of the Lord Jesus Christ. That wonderful bride is like this beautiful portrait that is for everlasting and through all eternity the glorious bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you. I invite you, friends, to join in with us at www.thewordofgodfellowship.org and learn more about this wonderful portrait, this everlasting portrait of God's chosen people. May God bless you.